New ban list, new format, still the same best deck, Pendulums. Let's go, baby. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button and go straight into the video. I'm going to go through in depth every single card that got banned, every single card that didn't get banned, limited, semi limited, and all that. And let's go. I'm going to go right into it. I was live on stream, streaming while this balance came out. So I already know what happened on the ban list. So no surprises here on me, but I'm going to explain everything in depth. As you see here, Astrograph is still limited, sad face. Anyways, let's go. Uh, this ban list uh, definitely does some damage to a lot of the decks, but it wasn't that big of a ban list. Pendulums are still the best deck, but with that being said, I'm going to say the first card that got banned, and that is Agar Pain. Agar Pain got banned. Agar Pain got banned. Agar Pain got banned. Have no fear. Right? A lot of you guys were scared that because Agar Pain got banned, Pendulums won't be that good anymore. But don't worry, all right? It's very sad now, but just don't worry. Pyrandemion, pull out your Pyrandemion decks. It is not the best deck. Pyrandemion is now the best deck. Strikers barely got touched on this list. I'll explain later as we go on. And Strikers are going to be very prominent in this format. Orcas are dead, all right? Mermaid got banned. I don't care what anyone says. When Mermaid banned, the deck is dead. You got to literally, even if you drew the hard, drew the hard horror, the deck is still utter trash, all right? Luna Orcas as well. Every engine that plays the Mermaid in it is trash. That's fantastic. Oh my god. Wow. That's absolutely amazing. Every single Orcas deck is dead. Every single Gar Dragon deck is basically dead. Agar Pain was huge for the deck. So, don't worry though. And Pendulums, go straight to Pyr and Demion. I'm telling you right now, right now, Pyr and Demion is the best deck. You gotta get rid of all Gar Dragon cards in it. Pyr and Demion is just a way to go moving forward. Alright? I'll show a deck list today, today right after posting this. But it is the best deck. Alright. Now, those are the only cards that got banned. We got Agar Pain banned, and we got uh, Mermaid banned, which is definitely gigantic for the meta. Now we're going to move forward here for what got limited. And the only card that got limited is Widow Anchor. So even though Widow Anchor is the only card they touch for Sky Strikers, they don't need Widow Anchor. All they're going to do now is just play one Widow Anchor instead of three Widow Anchor, and they're just going to play more traps. So now Sky Strikers, you still have to engage Ray Engine. I thought Roll should have got banned, or Engage should have got uh Eliminate or something like that because now they're just gonna play like eight chops main deck So even though widow is at one they're definitely trying to push that new sky striker card that got released rose or whatever that's called so uh, Sky striker will definitely be very viable hence now pure demion is the new wave pure demion is the best deck I don't care what anyone says you don't need guard dragons in it I never played guard dragons to begin with the pure demion you just don't need it so pure demion is definitely the new wave moving forward uh, That's all I got banned. It's all I got limited now, semi-limited, Dark Arm Dragon, who gives a shit? It's trash anyways. I'm surprised they kept all the dangers. So, Danger Gun Magic could be an issue as well. But, uh, a lot of Danger decks, like, even Danger Orcas now is going to be very weak. Because, Dangers can't go into Nightmares anymore. So, Dangers aren't even that good anymore. Because, Mermaid's useless now. Now, for the cards that got unlimited. Alright. Chaos Emperor Dragon, and of the End. It's a rat at, at Oblivion. It's trash anyways. Mali to 3, big deal. Aether to 3, Big deal, it's still trash. Stratos to three. Now, this is pretty huge because Mali to three and Stratos to three might be uh, a resurgence of heroes uh, with the way they're built now, but I still think they're trash. Insector Dragonfly, what? That's still gonna do nothing. Sure, it to three, that's still gonna do nothing. It's gonna marry a lot of people that are nostalgic players to want to play those decks that they like, but at the end of the day, they're, they're still trash. El Shadal Construct, it did nothing at 1, it'll do nothing at 3. Uh, and now Royal Tribute to 3, it did nothing at 2, it'll do nothing at 3. Still does nothing. Now, this one's pretty big. Super Rejuvenation. For those that don't know what it does, I'm going to pull it up right here for you guys. Super Rejuvenation, it, it, it could be a problem. It could definitely be a problem, okay? Now, with Super Rejuvenation, it could possibly make... Uh, there's definitely going to be some cool way to play Super Reju in different... Uh, different lists utilizing the Rocket Revolt Structure deck. There's going to be different ways to play it, per se, or even uh, different ways. Like, instead of going Seal uh, with a Guard Dragon color moving forward, the new play might be Romulus. Go Dragon Ravine to discard a Dragon, maybe discard other stuff, get some free draws from Super Regu. It might see some play, but as of right now, I don't see how it does see some play. But this overall, this bad list, it does not do much for the meta aside from completely destroy Orcus. And uh, it just slightly damages guard dragon decks, which really just pendulums, but it's okay. 
it's okay. All right, so now moving forward, you don't got to worry about Thunder Chaos because I think that's dead without Agar Pain. It's not dead, dead. They're still going to play Thunder versions. So now you're going to see a lot of Pure Thunder, a lot of Sky Striker, Salamangrate, but Orcus is dead. So you're going to see those three the most. Striker, Salamangrate, and Thunder. But those decks are the buy with Pendulums. So Pure and Demion is a new wave. It's very unfortunate Agar Pain's gone because... Uh, it gets you the free Vortex and the free Seal. Obviously, you can still LP. Another play might be LP into a Sloth and calling it a day. But the fact that LP then can't go into the Agar Pain is definitely very sad. And very, very very bad, even. And Seal is the biggest loser in this whole ban list. Because without Agar Pain, you don't have the free card to go Seal with. So now, it's kind of going to have to be like LP bring up... Uh, you're going to have Electrum, LP, and LP bring up the Pseudo, for example. But the Electrum is going to be at the very top... For, you're gonna have to, it's not gonna do anything. It's like, it's kind of like your LP gets in permanence every turn now, uh, in a way. Or you're, uh, you know, like you can't, like, what are you gonna do? Electrum, LP, and then LP bring up Desudo. What Electrum and Desudo is gonna go into what? Triple Burst and then go into Seal? No, it's useless, it's pointless. So without uh, Agar Pain, I do not recommend playing Guard Dragons in uh, in this deck. You could go LP with the, seal, with the Sloth combo, but hey, that's the ban list. That is just how it is. So, uh, later today, I will be uploading my updated Pendulum list without Agar Pain. I'm telling you guys right now, it is still a, definitely a top, top, top deck. And even though there's no Agar Pain, have no fear, okay? Because Triff is, fear, is here. I'm actually going to PPG Columbus this weekend. And to prove to you guys that you can play this deck without Agar Pain, I will be entering that tournament without Agar Pain. So I will be entering this tournament with all the Orcas cards. Everyone else will have Agar Pain. Everyone else will have Triple Widow without Agar Pain. And to show you guys what really is the best version of Pendulums without Agar Pain. Uh, so don't even worry about it. Trust me, there is nothing to fear. It definitely hurts uh, playing the Pendulum match that I love. Like, I was just on stream building what I believe was the best Pendulum list. And the best Pendulum list included Orcas and Guard Dragons. Which are two of the most craziest combos. But without Mermaid and Agar Pain, they're trash. So, you gotta scrap those now. You gotta scrap the Guard Dragons. You could definitely still go LP into Sloth and call that a, call, just have that. Have a Sloth of 2300 attack that you bring up with LP. But, at the same time, then you're just left with the LP that sits there. Then you, your combo is basically going to be Jack of Vortex Sloth, which might be enough, but maybe not versus uh, some of the more support decks. Like, you can literally just bait out for you can still bait that out very easily and i thought about it, you can't special summon it yourself with the sloth on board so it's really not that 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 good so that's it for that okay in terms of how the top five meta decks will look moving forward this definitely has a big implication on it i believe orcas and you could definitely play warrior orcas so you could definitely still play orcas as uh you could play a warrior deck with this Revolga on a Soul Day, so you can still play a Soul Day, uh, send Armageddon, a uh, 4 close spell, send Armageddon Knight, Armageddon Knight, send an Orcus. So you can still have access to the Orcus combo through that. Uh, Luna Light can still go Curious, and Curious send the Orcus. But then you're just going, you're playing some half ass version, where you're not even going to be able to make Curious, honestly. It's going to be tough without the, without the Nightmare, it's tough to make the Curious anyways. So the Orcus are, can still definitely see play. Pure Orcus will be playing Triple Nightmare, Triple Horror, no doubt about it, and... Stuff like that, like, like double all of everything, but you're just playing a shitty ass list at that point, and you're just gonna have to. It definitely trash without mermaid. So I still see people playing orcas, but without mermaid, that deck is is absolutely abysmal. How my biggest issue now is pure pendulum, and how pendulum will have a how what outlook does it have for pendulum on the whole meta? And as I said, man, you're gonna have to take out all your jackals and your endemions. Those are gonna be your new negates and your Appaloozas. Those are going to be your new negates moving forward. Uh, hey, you know what, what? who else lost a lot from this? Blue eyes. Blue eyes, red eyes, odd eyes. All the garbage, random, uh, nostalgic dragon decks. Uh, yeah, you're pretty trash now with the agar pain. But, hey, what do you know? So, also another note. If you guys are at PPG Columbus, do say hi. I will be there 100%. I'll be there all Saturday. Uh, I might stream as well. But as, uh, another note to note later for George. But we'll see. And like I said, I'll be playing this deck without without Agar Pain to show you guys that it's still the best deck regardless. So don't worry about that. Have no fear. The deck is still the best. I'm not going to show the sneak peek on the deck. Stay tuned for later today. I will be uploading my pe my updated Pendulum list without, guard, without Agar Pain. And it is still absolutely no problem. And uh, the next few days, I'll be uploading a lot of different decks. Uh, 
definitely sucks that I've been going to PPG. I have to go to PPG in Columbus. I have to. I, I've been fiending to play. It'll be my first tournament in 14 months. Otherwise, I'll post like five duels with you guys with updated list. But Pendulum is definitely the best list moving forward. Hope you guys like this video, and we'll see you in today's video where I show the updated list. Peace.